One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a Tapo Wi-Fi smart light bulb, which we've got right here. First thing we need to do is download the Tapo app and set up a username and password. So we've got the Tapo app installed, and then you're just going to click it and open it up. So this is what you're looking for, T-A-P-O, that's your app. And then you're going to create a TP-Link ID or just log in once you've created a username and password. So we're going to log in. Now we enter our username and password. Once we've logged in with our username and password, this is the screen that pops up and we just click in the upper right hand corner on the plus symbol and then we're going to click add a device. Now we get to choose what we're going to install. So we're going to scroll down to light and click on that. Now it's going to ask us for what Tapo Wi-Fi smart light bulb we're setting up. We're setting the Tapo Smart Wi-Fi Multicolor Bulb up, which is the Tapo 531. Now, you can look on the box, and it will also tell you that information. So go ahead and look at your box right now. But we're going to click on the Tapo L531. It says install your Tapo device. First, make sure the power is off on the light you're replacing. Then swap the current bulb with your smart bulb. So we're going to install the smart light bulb in this fixture right here. We've got our Tapo Smart Wi-Fi light bulb screwed in right here, and then we're going to click Next. Power up your Tapo device. I'm just going to uh, point it down so we don't mess up the camera too much, and then I'm going to turn it on. Great. It says power up your Tapo device, turn on the light, and the smart bulb should blink three times. There, it just blinked three times, and now we're going to click Next. It says connect to your Tapo device. Go to your phone or tablet's Wi-Fi setting and join the Tapo device network. So we're going to do that now. Here we are in our Wi-Fi settings and you can see after our Tapo light bulb blinked three times, we can now set it up. It's the Tapo bulb F7C9 right here. So we're just going to click on that so that we can connect to the Wi-Fi network. If you were able to find your Tapo bulb on Wi-Fi, skip ahead about 30 seconds. If not, watch the following 30 seconds to make sure your Tapo bulb shows up on Wi-Fi. Now, if your smart bulb didn't blink or you're having issues getting it connected to the Wi-Fi, you're just going to click my smart bulb didn't blink. And what you're going to do is switch a light on and off in cadence with this image where it turns on and off. Uh, and what that's going to do is put it into like a reset mode and then that will make that Wi-Fi network pop up. So if you're having issues getting the Wi-Fi network to pop up to get this connected, just follow this cadence of turning it on and off and that will put it back into Wi-Fi pairing mode. And we'll just show you that real quick. So we're going to do this three times. It's off right now. On, off, on, off, on, off. And then we're gonna turn it on and leave it and it should blink in four seconds. And what that's going to do is that's going to trigger this to have its Wi-Fi signal go back out. You saw it blinked, so now we could go to that Wi-Fi network and it should pop up there. So if you're having issues getting it connected to Wi-Fi or having the Wi-Fi network show up, you wanna do this procedure in order to get that Wi-Fi network to uh, show up properly on your phone. We're going to click got it. And now we're just going to click next. Great, now our Tapo bulb is connected, so we're gonna go back to the Tapo app. Now our Tapo light bulb is connected through the app and all we're going to do is click on the network that we want to set this up with. Enter the password for the Wi-Fi network that you've chosen. Now we're going to click next. Click next. Pairing your Tapo device. We're going to click next. And we'll just choose bedroom, click next. Choose an icon, click next. Almost done, you've configured Tapo device. Make sure you're using the latest firmware. Check firmware. Okay, it wants to update the firmware. We're just going to click update now. Congratulations, your Tapo device is up to date and ready to use. We're going to click sounds good. You can choose an update time. We're going to click got it. And then here it says you can link your Amazon account to TP-Link or Tapo account. We're going to click maybe later. Great, our smart bulb is now connected. So let's test out a couple things with the Tapo smart Wi-Fi light bulb. We're just going to turn it on and off. We click the button right there and it turns on and off. Now let's click the bulb itself and here we can choose a whole bunch of different colors. So let's just choose green 
and you can choose your brightness or dimming level. So we're going to choose all the way up. You can see that's green. Let's try purple here, uh, blue, red, a, I don't know what that is, a, a yellowish color. And then uh, let's just go back to green for right now. You could also choose any of these colors here in the spectrum. There's millions of different colors that you can choose right here. You can then, uh, we'll just do white uh, for now, but you can see with the white, you can also choose like a warm white or you can go to a more daylight light or a bluer light. Um, and then it shows you the different color temperatures. Uh, so 400 and, or 4,500 Kelvins. This is 6,500 Kelvins. I'm guessing this down here is somewhere in the 3,000 range uh, in terms of the color of the light. Now, if we go down uh, here, we can see our energy usage. It says how long it's been running. You can see your energy savings over time. It tells you kilowatt hours. You've got a schedule here, so you could turn it on or off at a certain time and schedule, like if you wanted to have it come on at sunrise or sunset. Um, if you had an outdoor light, you can just make this schedule. So we could do like sunset, and then we're gonna have it turn on, and then you can choose when you want that to happen and we would just click save so it's going to turn on at sunset every day and then we're going to click out of this and then uh, you've got all kinds of different stuff you can use in away mode so you can have it automatically turn on when you're away from your house so that people think that you're like home it'll kind of randomly turn on and off uh, we could set that up if you're on vacation just makes it seem like you're there when you're not you've got different themes here uh, you've got a party theme. Let's just see what happens there. It just goes different lights and colors. We're going to stop that. And then what do we have? Relax theme. So it's just kind of rotating uh, through different colors. That's kind of cool. And then you've got a timer. So you could turn it ha uh, on and off after a certain amount of time. So we're going to have the tur device turn off after, you know, like a minute. We could do that or we could set it all the way. For multiple hours, 23 hours, uh, you could go up to almost 24 hours. And then you've got uh, what it looks like here, smart actions. Let's see what we can do there. It says prepare for sleep, night sleep, turn off lights and dim lights. Uh, we're going to turn this off actually right now. We'll stop that theme from running. But uh, here you've got smart actions. Uh, you can turn off the lights, turn off appliances. And then you can have a delay, just dim your bedroom lights before you go to sleep, night sleep, turn off lights and appliances, arrive home, turn off all your tapo devices. So you could click there if you've got multiple of these. And then you could have uh, when you leave to save uh, money, uh, you could turn those off. So that is pretty much all the settings here that you've got for the tapo Wi-Fi uh, smart light bulb. And thank you for watching this video on how to set up your tapo smart Wi-Fi light bulb. This is the color version, but this is going to work um, for many versions of the Tapo smart light bulb. The process is the same. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.